Good morning, I'm Sam. It's a beautiful January day today and I fancy like a Mediterranean lunch. We're going to be exploring the riverside and cooking up a Greek chicken gyros from scratch. Let's do this. Okay, so homemade tzatziki. Super easy, super delicious. Going to start off with some Greek yogurt. Going to grate up some cucumbers. I've got mini cucumbers today. We're going to season it with garlic, using minced garlic oregano, a bit of dill, salt and pepper, some white wine vinegar, and some good quality olive oil. Going to grate the cucumbers into tissue paper and then strain the moisture out of them. Grated cucumber, a bit of salt on it. And we're going to squeeze the moisture out of it as much as possible. Put the shredded cucumber in the Greek yogurt, oregano, little bit of dill, some garlic, some salt, some pepper, some olive oil. Give that a mix. Now just a touch of white wine vinegar. Quick taste test. Job done. Just had a haircut this morning. I've got to admit, it's a bit chilly around the ears today. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara Dan. Tell me, is the gauge of an adventure how long it takes you to clean off your boots afterwards. This is going to be a good one. Okay, so chicken gyros is essentially like a chicken kebab. So what I have here is self-raising flour and Greek yogurt. Now this is magic. So two parts flour to one part yogurt. I'm going to mix it up in this Ziploc bag to create a dough and then we'll leave it for 15 minutes and you can fry it as flatbread and it's so good. Got a nice little dough ball there. And put that back in the bag. We're gonna make chips. So we're gonna peel up a potato and make really thin French fries so that I can shallow fry them in the pan. To do that, I'm going to make the potato into a rectangle first, then really thinly slice up some French fries. There we are, look at those beauties. I'm gonna finely slice some red onion for the garnish. Like so. And slice up this monster tomato. Just like that. Got a couple of chicken thighs here that I'm gonna cut into strips. Like so. I'm going to season them with chili and paprika. We 
I'm going to start off with my chips. So I'm going to get the oil hot and then add in my french fries. They look done to me, they look fantastic. I'm going to pop them here on the tin foil, try and keep them warm while I cook up other chicken. Season them with a bit of the paprika and chili salt. In goes the chicken. some beautifully crispy chicken here smelling awesome so I'm gonna wrap that up in tin foil and then fry off my flatbread almost there here's a messy bit so this is our dough I'm gonna grab a chunk of that and then just try and smooth it down to a pancake this is a lot easier at home with a rolling pin and a flat surface but that's part of the reason I enjoy the cookouts, is the challenge as well. It'll be alright. I've done the best I can in my hands to flatten this thing out. So let's smash it on the pan. One. Flatbread, just like that. It's time to assemble our chicken gyros. Got my flatbread and the satsiki that we made last night. So a healthy dollar for that. Got some red onion. Some tomato. Our chips. And chicken. And there we have it, one cookout chicken gyro. Cheers. It's messy, but that was amazing. Fruits of our labor are all the more delicious in a place like this. Got enough dough and enough stuff for another one, I reckon. And I'm still hungry. Let's do it. Oh, that was so good, but two is too much. One and a half is about right. It's time to get this stuff packed up. Boo.
Well, first me done for this time. What a fantastic spot this has been. Absolutely idyllic. Tide's coming in, so good thing we're getting out of here. I've left no trace of anything. I've even uh, put all the waste soil in a pot to take with me as well. What a cracking spot. Right, let's get home. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a rope swing up there with like a 15 foot fall onto the path. Hardcore. Well, that was so good. I really enjoyed that, ate a little bit too much, but tremendous. Let's do this again soon.